Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Have you ever been really bummed because your ATV won't go in the water or that your jet ski won't go on land? Have you ever had your mind blown when two worlds collide? Well, they just did. Introducing the quad ski. And thus begins our ATV portion of the exercise. <laughs> I use my thumb to shift right here. Just like in your car, maybe, if you have an automated manual, you tap up, tap down, that's exactly how this is. This is automatic. BMW engine's really impressive. In front of me is a display that's showing the different gears. It's a five-speed. I've got my lanyard, same kind of thing that you'd have on a jet ski. If for some reason I get thrown from this, it shuts off, which is nice. All four wheels brake when I pull the brake. The engine braking let off of the engine slows me down pretty well. Going up this big hill. Yeah, no problem. All right, so we're here with Graham, the PR and communications manager from Gibbs Sports Amphibians. Thanks so much for being with us. Nice for you to be here. Let's get into Gibbs. You guys have been doing some really cool amphibious vehicles for a while. Well, we've worked for the last sort of 15 years on our idea of making amphibious vehicles that can be fast on land and fast on water and change between the two quickly, which has never really been successfully done before. Tell me a little bit about how the quad ski works, because in a matter of seconds it goes from land to sea, so what is that process like? Drive into the water until you're floating. You hold the brake and press a button so you can't have the throttle on. The wheels retract, and then when it stops beeping, you're good to go. You can hammer on the throttle and off you take like a jet ski. It's crazy, I was just on the land going 45 miles an hour around a sandy track, and now I'm just out here in this channel. It really is stable. I mean, you can get a nice little bit of lean. I don't want to take it too sharp, but... Woo! You just gotta give it gas. Woohoo! So one thing that's interesting about the throttle, there's no gears here. What happens is, once the wheels pop up and decouple from the engine, it automatically shifts into third gear, which they've decided is a premium or optimum gear. So at first I was like, this isn't very fun. And they said, give it more gas. And I said, okay, this still isn't fun. And they said, go all the way. And now we're having fun. There it is. One thing that's great about the construction of this is that the hull, which is uh, one piece of composite, is actually two layers. There's composite foam and composite, and that's so if you're out on the track or you're going through the woods, you end up scraping the underside, you can still get in the water and not sink. Something I appreciate, not sinking. So obviously this vehicle serves two distinct purposes. It's not strictly an ATV or a jet ski. What are some compromises you guys had to make for it to work in both worlds? As far as the Coast Guard are concerned, it's a PWC. As far as the Consumer Public Safety Commission are concerned, an it's an ATV. So we must comply with both. For instance, the lights that are on the front, ATVs have to have lights now. But the Coast Guard will not allow a PWC to have lights on it. So as part of the transition process, the lights are disabled. The jet ski aspect to this is really interesting because you guys had to package a much smaller, much lighter jet than is on the market. One of the reasons we have the engine we do, the BMW K1300, right. is because it's one of the best in terms of power to rate ratio in its class, and we need something that can convert that without giving us a lot of extra weight to carry. We had to design our own jet unit that would be shorter and lighter. Is there a thought of maybe going electric? Uh, we've got no problem with the idea of being electric in the future, but we need to choose the best available power plant we can that gives us the best power to rate. At the moment, there aren't any electric engines that can do that, so we're with the BMW. All right, so look, here's the thing. This quad ski is fantastic. It's $40,000. So you could buy a whole fleet of ATVs and jet skis and have lots of options. 
but if you have the money, you're definitely going to be the coolest kid on the block and the coolest kid on the beach. That's not bad. All right, for Translogic, I'm Bradley Hasmeyer. See you next time.